little bit stiff, that old Yorkshire geek, and a bit more Star Wars news. Um, this is about Andor Season 2. They've given us a little tease as Disney. Um, in a Not in a trailer, but in a, a part of a trailer for other things. They've got like a coming in 2025 teaser trailer thing uh, that they've, they released, yes, uh, well, a few hours ago. Um, and Andor's part of it. Um so we'll have a look at that. But before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe, share the videos, drop a comment, hit the notification bell, subscribe already. <gasps> Explore the description for various links, uh, merch, Patreon, etc. and all that stuff. Right, so let's have a look at this article. So let's have a look. Right, here it is. It's, uh, well, I've got a look at this one from space.com. Disney Plus announces official Andor Season 2 premiere date and teasers TIE Fighter Heist. Star Wars sneaky Rebel Spy returns to conclude his hero's journey this spring. Well, he concluded it in Rogue One, didn't he? <laughs> but anyway, uh, and there he is. There's uh, um, Diego Luna. That's Cassian Andor. Right, Andor is coming back in just five months. The sensational Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Let's call it Rogue One. Spin-off series debuted on Disney Plus in 2022 and was given high praise by both discriminating critics and avid fans. I won't call them avid. Um, it, it were liked, you know, for the most part, and increased its viewers as the season went on. But some people did say it was boring. Uh, it was given the nickname and bore because it was a bit, it, did, it was overstretched, in my opinion. But anyway. And avid fans for its intelligent storytelling and compelling performances. Andor fills in the backstory of Diego Luna's Cassian Andor character some five years prior to the events of director Gareth Edwards' fateful 2016 prequel to Star Wars A New Hope. Oh, Star Wars. Uh, and at this past weekend, during the inaugural D23, the ultimate Disney fan event in Brazil... The show's amusing droid, B2MO, appeared on stage chattering in Portuguese to announce that, because it must be like, but you think they get C3PO out, wouldn't you? Get Anthony Daniels speaking Portuguese. Because they're supposed to know the six million forms of communication. But anyway, uh, to announce that Andor, a Star it's not Andor a Star Wars story, it's just Andor, isn't it? Andor season two will premiere April 22nd, 2025. Right, so Disney Plus also released a new teaser for Andor Season 2 on November 12th, uh, yesterday, uh, as part of a larger video, as I've just said, highlighting a new, rele new releases for 2025. In it, we see Cassin Andor steal a TIE interceptor and being told to think like a leader. So here it is. I've uh, got to the right point, I hope. <laughs> so we'll have, a, we'll have a look at this. Yes. Is there no one who can help us? We need a pilot. Whoa. You're thinking like a thief. I'm thinking like a soldier. Think like a leader. Something big is about to happen. That's it. That's it. That, 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 that was a look. Uh, stealing a tie. Is it Avenger? Whatever. Interceptor. I don't know. And then it goes on to other things. So there we go. Stealing scars. Think like a leader. <laughs> is that his natural voice? I don't know. Right, co-starring Genevieve O'Reilly, Stellan Skarsgård, Adria Arjona, Denise Goff, Kyle, uh, Kyle Soller and Alan Tudyk. Tudyk. I say every time, unfortunate. Just change your name, mate. As ex-security droid K2SO, the 12-episode first season of Andor revealed uh, how the titular character, well, K2SO wasn't in the first season, was it? We did see, you know, an Imperial, whatever droid, well, the security droid, whatever they're called. Oh, it says there, yeah. Um, we saw one of those, but was it K2SO? Don't know. Might have been. Might not, I don't know. But anyway. Uh, but that was a bad guy. Right, the 12 episode first season of Andor revealed how the titular character was recruited by the Rebel Alliance to become a pivotal spy in the battle against the evil Galactic Empire before his demise on Scarif. Spoilers. After procuring the secret Death Star blueprints. Um, or helping to procure them. Uh, also added for a return to the franchise are Jimmy Smith's Bail Organa and Ian McDermott's Emperor Palpatine. Cool. So, Palpatine is returning again somehow. I know, this is set before that, I know. 
Uh, Rogue One co-screenwriter Tony Gilroy is the series mastermind and showrunner again for season two as Andor fulfills his destiny and now we know exactly when we'll see that sad saga conclude. The sophomore outing was originally slated for a late 2024 unwrapping until the Writers Guild strike and a schedule of necessary reshoots quickly sabotaged those well-laid plans. Within the five-year pre-Rogue One timeline explored, season one represented a single year in Cassian Andor's perilous journey. Season two unspools as four individual three-episode story arcs each one encompassing a single year amid the remaining four years before the daring heist narrative of Rogue One. Da, da, da. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was the, I think the plan was it to be five seasons, with each season being a year. But then for some they've said, no, you're not getting, you're not getting five seasons. It's not happening um, because because it's you know, it's not Star Trek, is it? It's not Star Trek Discovery. Uh, they didn't a Les Moonves at Disney. <laughs> Just handing out contracts willy nilly, um, as he did. Um, they're a bit more cautious, it seems. Uh, in 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 this case, uh, they weren't cautious with the, the acolyte, were they? But never mind. Anyway, so they decided they've got to cram four years into one into one season. But anyway, uh, back in August. At the D23 Expo in Anaheim, California, it was confirmed via a behind-the-scenes video that Ben Mendelsohn was confirmed for Season 2 in a role that will resurrect director Orson Krennic from Rogue One, because he was in charge of the Death Star, essentially. And we learned in Rogue One that um, uh, Moff Tarkin uh, basically came in and, and just stole it away from him, said, I'm in charge, it was my idea. Um, it's, it's fair enough, maybe it, it was his idea originally, but it was Krennic that supervised the construction, wasn't it? Anyway, if you know you're... That doesn't mean he's a good guy, you know, he's still a baddie. If you know you're ending, it really helps, said Gilroy at last year's Star Wars celebration in London. We know exactly where we're going. You know what you have to deliver emotionally and what the story has to do. It's a decision born of survival, but it's good for us creatively. I think they should bring him back. I think they should. I think they should say just before that blast from the Death Star, spoilers, hits Andor, Cassian Andor and um, 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 Jyn Erso, um, they were teleported away. Because teleporting has been mentioned in Star Wars. Uh, Luke said it in, the very, in Star Wars in 1977, uh, you know, unless you can teleport me off this rock. So does that mean teleportation exists? I know it does, I know it, just because he said it, it doesn't mean it exists, but maybe it does. I don't know. Uh, you know, weirder things have happened. So, you know, could it exist on some, some alien world? Um, don't know, could somebody come in? Could, could the ship have just come in, teleport them, teleported them up just in time? And so they go on, you know, somehow Cassian Andor returned. No. No. But, you know, why not? Why not indeed? That's what I say. So there we go. We'll leave it there. So thanks for watching, wherever you are. Look after each other. And until next time, I'll see you then. <laughs>